this kind of support that NGOs like Snow Change are now receiving from Google are transformative. There's not a single national grant on that level that would focus specifically and support our actions for the next two years to physically restore these lands. The Google Impact Challenge on climate is a program run by Google.org, which is Google's philanthropic arm and also project partners, uh, uh, Climate Kick, um, that funds 11 game-changing projects from across Europe that use technology to move us forward towards a greener, more resilient future. The purpose of that work is to offer mechanisms that where we can restore whole landscapes back into resilience and also carbon sinks. Because Finland has so much in terms of quantity, so much um, degraded peatlands and forests, waters and lakes, there's a tremendous potential for a European level of significance on rewilding and restoration for both biodiversity and carbon uh, success. Trees Infrastructure is an open source platform that is aiming to support various city stakeholders to collectively value and invest in urban nature in cities across Europe and the world uh, that for way too long have understood trees from an aesthetic point of view. They've seen them as beautiful lampposts rather than understanding them from all the different values that they can provide from cleaning the air to actually filtering water to supporting humans and non-humans to have better lives in cities. There is many European cities that are committing to all these targets. You know, we will plant three million trees, we will plant two million trees. But essentially the problem is that they don't have the money or the capacity or the resources to do that right now. And so I think Trees as Infrastructure is working with cities to help them understand what is, uh, you know, a, a new asset management system, a new way to price urban trees, and a new way to understand their impact in order to grow urban forests in cities. The aim and vision of Normative is to make known the sustainability impact of all economic activities on the planet. So what we're doing at Normative is that we take uh, carbon into account and we're similar to a normal bookkeeping system, uh, but instead of accounting for a, a PL, you account for your carbon emissions and you can share that in your annual report and, and with stakeholders and more importantly, comply with the recent regulations in the European Union, such as the sustainable disclosure regulation and the amendments to the non-financial reporting directive. We really support the kind of the European goal to become the world's first carbon neutral continent by 2050. And we think that technology has a huge role to play in, in helping us get there. The innovation that needs to happen, especially linked to climate change, is quite risky. And so I think we really need right now the uh, capital and grant funding to speed up some of these technologies uh, in order to be able to then make them more commonly adopted by either the public sector or the private sector, essentially. A grant making uh, that allows initiatives uh, to fail and that doesn't increase the level of bureaucracy and the level of uh, report making that will not allow them to actually uh, innovate in an agile manner and an iter iterative process. We're also contributing through our, our own operations and the investment in our own technology. Our goal is to get to um, zero carbon operations by, uh, by 2030. So we like to think of that not as a net zero target where you might emit in one area and then offset that or remove that um, in another area, um, but instead actually moving to an absolute zero target. Um, and this means getting to uh, clean energy supply in every hour uh, of every day.